Hi, I'm Dan from Realmax Software, and today I was going to have a quick look at building a web page with RapidWeaver 8 uh, stacks from your head software, which you're probably already familiar with, uh, and also Foundry from Elixir Graphics. Uh, Foundry is uh, a collection of stacks uh, for the stacks plugin. Uh, always a little bit confusing explaining that, but um, you'll see as I build the site, and I'm sure you're familiar with stacks and stacks. Uh, we're also going to be using some of the free uh, templates that Elixir Graphics also has um, for for uh, that, that work with Foundry. And here's an example of some of them. So he has some call to action sections, which are basically nice, generally nice, nice big headers with the title and buttons all set up. And there's also some nice footer sections as well. But right, let's get to it uh, and get Rapid Weaver open. I'm going to create a new document and we're going to add a stacks page. Then we're going to need we're going to need to select the Foundry theme. Uh, this is important because otherwise it's not going to work. So if I hit preview, we've got a nice blank page to work with. I'm going to open the library section, get the inspector open, so we can see what's what's going on. Now I've collected all the Foundry stacks into a little collection here and separated them away from, from the main collection of everything because otherwise it's just it's a bit too much to search through. So uh, everything that we need should be, should be in here and I also have the Mason stacks there. Right, uh, let's get started. First of all, uh, you need the Foundry control center. This is where a lot of your a lot of the main overall settings for your for your the look of your site is set so let's throw that in there we need a container uh, to contain our website we're going to get a couple of columns and let's have a look let's get a header in here and another one in that column i always throw in some dummy content as quick as possible just so we can get an idea for the layout of the site so if i hit preview now you'll see we've got two columns very plain basic website but hopefully this will build up pretty quick now so let's get the um, I'm not sure what's going on there right let's get the navbar pro in uh, hit preview and we've got a nice navbar it's not looking the quite the way I want it but uh, we'll we'll get back to that and uh, now let's let's put in a header I'm just going to refer back to here because uh, they're actually, let's have a look, uh, I fancy this one, um, this is call to action number eight. There, ah, here we are. Let's drop that in there. Perfect. Let's preview that. Pretty good. And I think, uh, let's see on the footers, uh, that one looks quite good, I think. Let's, what's that? Call to action. Uh, that is footer number two i think footer where are we uh down here footer uh, let's pop that down the bottom of the site perfect good uh so we've already got a basic page up and running in just a couple of minutes so let's uh, dive in and uh and do a few tweaks on this first of all i know i'm going to want a logo rather than the plain text um and luckily i have uh, the real mat logo here um, now the uh, the navbar pro is broken up into zones so you can have different things in different zones and right now it's not showing our logo so if we head back up to zone one we want it to show the logo let's do that hit preview great that's showing it but it's showing the logo is clipped um, now we want the navbar to be taller because uh, that nav bar is a little bit slim. So I'm going to set those to 80. Uh, that's on mobile, tablet and desktop. Good. Nav bar is looking nicer, but our logo is still clipped. So I think we have to set a maximum height for it. Our custom logo height. Let's preview that now. Perfect. That's looking much better. Um, what I might do is let's let's name some of these. So I'm going to Put a few, put a few uh, nav items in. We'll call that one store, uh, and this one can be support. Um, 
Now I'm not going to link them yet because I don't have uh, my other pages. Let's call this home. Uh, I don't have the other pages set up just yet. Um, can we, let's have a look, see if we can link the logo. Link the logo, set link. Uh, and I'm just going to link that to the home page. Boom. Let's preview now. Perfect. And that, that's coming up as a link. Excellent. Um, what else? Right. Uh, so this is currently a template, so we can't edit this. Uh, what you need to do is we need to, um, you either need to convert it into an external or a partial. And a partial will allow you to edit the header and then you use that in all the pages on your site. Um, and if you change it in one place, it'll be updated to reflect on all the other pages. But because this is a, a single page site at the moment and um, I'm going to want my headers to be uh, unique. Uh, I'm going to say don't edit that and I'm going to, uh, if we click on it, I'm going to unpack it so it's custom to just this page. And I'm going to get rid of that image. Uh, no, let's not browse what we want to do. Um, a lot of people uh, kind of overlook the resources area, especially the Unsplash integration, which I absolutely love because it makes it so easy to put in... Um, you know, to put to put in headers, uh, to well, to put in images. So look, I don't um, already. We are customizing that just like that. So, uh, but really, um, I want an image of a Mac because we are making a Mac website. Uh, that one looks good. So if I drop that in, um, is you know, it is amazingly easy just to drop these things in. Just and how uh, the images you use in the banners and things can give your site a completely different look and feel. Uh, but I'm going to stick with this colourful Mac because uh, I quite like that. Um, and I think I'm going to make the menu black so that it blends nicely. Let's have a look at that. Uh, I think that'll look quite good. Now, how do we customise this? Let's see, background. Um, let's pick the colour off of our image. I think it's pretty much, pretty much black. Um, let's pick that again. Let's see almost black but that should look pretty good yeah that is looking good already uh let's we're not spotify we sell rapid weaver rapid weaver eight um, and as we all know the best web design software for mac please excuse the clacky keyboard there uh, and it, we're not we're not getting Spotify for free. Um, download Rapid Weaver. Boom. Um, let's check that. That is looking pretty good. Um, not sure on the green button, so let's see if we can we can customize that. We'll go purple because the the uh, the Rapid Weaver logo has purple in it. That will look pretty good. Uh, make that a bit darker. Nice. Uh, apparently, it does have a shadow on that. Let's just in case we'll make that there. Uh, nice. That is looking pretty good. Uh, let's with our content. Let's create a bit of uh, padding, so it's not bunched up so much. That looks pretty good. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, ah, let's see if we can customize customize these buttons up the top here because uh, I don't really don't really want those to be turquoise. Uh, okay, let's change the hover state. We'll, we'll go. Let's go purplish again to reflect the website uh, to reflect to reflect Rapid Weaver rather. Excellent, uh, and we'll make the. We'll make the active state purple as well. Um, so that's, I mean, that's that's pretty good. Let's uh, copyright real Mac software. Okay, let's go back. Let's preview that. Ah, there we are. Copyright. And that will email support. 
contact. Let's just change that to contact us. That should update it in the footer. Yeah, perfect. Um, I think the same, because the footer is a template as well, I could unpack that. Let's see how these are set up. I'll set link, so I could just do this twitter.com and real Mac software open a new window set link perfect so uh, I'm probably going to stop it there because I think we, we've been going for uh, probably around 10 minutes um, but that shows you how easy it is to set up um, a website in rapid weaver really using stacks and foundry um, there's so you know there's so much you could do here and extend here i think maybe i'll do another video kind of that goes into the content area and we could get that looking uh nice with some products in there and may maybe get some animations and things in there um but i'll save that for another video if uh, if you did find this useful please let us know uh, and i can and we can carry on this series or maybe put together a small series to show you how to build the real mac website or a similar site to the real mac website and kind of go into detail and flesh out all, all the pages um good all right hope you did find this useful thanks a lot and happy weaving <laughs>